Hi, my name is Michael Redman. I've been teaching uh, physical assessment in uh, acupuncture schools for a number of years now. Uh, and a friend has asked me to do this on uh, tape so we all can refresh your memories. Uh, if any of you have been in my courses before, glad to see you. Now, what we're going to do is take uh, blood pressures. We're going to take three. One upon, uh, the first one will be on her non-dominant arm, the arm she doesn't write with. Uh, the second two will be on the arm she does write with. Okay. The third one, of course, will be an orthostatic, uh, so we'll have to be quick. Now, two th goals when you're taking the blood pressure. You don't want to beat the patient up, and you don't want to startle them so you get an accurate blood pressure. Okay. So, you would take the cuff, go like so, and then hold and fold. That way you can control the tubing and get it on the person's arm without slapping them about the head and shoulders. Okay. When you take the arm, take it by the joint. That way you cause the least discomfort and have the most control. Okay. Now, I'll lay the cuff on her arm, give a slight tug, a push, the Velcro will engage. The uh, manometer will can either go on the clothing or on the little uh, strap, depending upon uh, how secure you need it to be. Okay. Now, Stethoscope, the earpieces angle forward, right, as your ear canal does, and always check to make sure that you have the head turned the right way. Now, stroke it, don't tap it. Uh, go ahead if you want to tap it, you'll see. Okay. You hold the person's arm, pump to about 160, open the valve, and listen. Okay. 96 over 60, and what you're listening for is the first sharp tap, and then when the sound changes or muffles. Okay, okay. okay. now we're going to take the blood pressure on her non-dominant arm again. Once again, to control the tubing, this finger goes between here, slides down, grab the corner, fold it over. Fuzzy side out. Okay. Take the wrist. You want to make sure the palm is uppermost because that takes the tendon of the biceps brachii off the brachial artery uh, and makes it much easier to hear. Okay. And at my age, I need all the help I can get. Okay. Once again, we put the cuff on. This time I'm going to secure it to her sweater because we'll have her moving and I think it's more secure that way. Okay. All right. About 160. Open. Over 60. You're a rock. You're going to stand up. Okay, 84 over 62. That was a teeny little drop, but not enough to concern us. Okay. Probably as much operator error as anything. Okay. Now, what I was listening for, of course, is the first sharp tap as the artery opens, and then a muffling sound as it fully opens. That would be your systolic and your diastolic. Okay.